Hi everyone, it's Dolphin Treasure here and welcome to this week's little vlog video. So a few things I wanted to talk about today. Happy Horror Month to all of you horror lovers out there, all of you Halloween lovers out there. I was actually thinking of starting a video series on just recording sound effects with my voice. I've always had an interest in acting actually. I've had an interest in acting since I was in high school and I participated in all the auditions for every play in high school. I never made it into any plays in high school. Never, not once. It was when I got to college that I actually started getting some roles. What do you guys think? Do you think I should go ahead and do that? I think it would be pretty fun. I think it would be fun. Just thinking back to my acting days, it kind of brings back some really good memories I had when I was in high school. I did used to work for a haunted house, which I did want to talk about a little bit today because with it being Halloween and the, just the month of October, all the haunted houses are going, you know, every weekend, like Thursday through Sunday, depending on where you live and depending on what haunted house it is. I worked in a haunted house for about three and a half years. The one place that I worked for is actually called Statesville Haunted Prison. If any of you guys out there are familiar with it, you know, feel free to comment below what your experience was. I would really love to know. Working in a haunted house, I gotta tell you, it is backbreaking, almost literally. And it's, it's really tough to work in one. You gotta have a really good mindset for it and you gotta have, you know, the strength and like not just physical strength, but you also have to have the mental strength for it as well. It's not for everybody. If you're sensitive to smells and strobe lights and loud noises, then I wouldn't recommend it for you. I had to wear earplugs. It was so loud. When I worked there, I worked in a couple different rooms. My absolute favorite room in the whole world was working in the maniac ward because I got to dress as a really manic patient and I got to go around harassing people and I got to play with the props. We had this one prop that I called Charlie. I thought he was super awesome because he would he was sat in a he sat in an electric chair and there was a little button that you could turn on when people were walking past so he would you know, shake and violently and jitter and blah, you know, just freak people out. And he had his brain exposed. And so I would actually go up behind him and I would lick the brain, you know, that kind of thing, just to really freak people out. And it really did. And people were, oh my gosh. And it was so much fun when I made football players fall to their knees because they got so scared. And it was really fun just listening to people scream as I just hid in a corner somewhere in a dark corner and I just like lunged at people with I just lunged at people with the light shining in my face you know turned on at the right time Roar! you know like that and then I backed away and like I didn't even exist that was so much fun it was also really fun working with the people that were in the same room as you one of my coworkers and I we were working in the same cage together at, in the maniac ward and he actually came from a different haunted house I can't remember which one they came from but we needed some extra help so we, they brought in more actors from a different haunted place to come help us out and he and I were working together in the same cage and we actually came up with this whole little routine where I shoved his face against the bars one two three like that and then I'd slam him against the back wall and then he'd fall to the floor every time a group of people walk through. And I always had so many cool ideas to make it even more creepy. I had so many good ideas and I was so excited about that. And I actually had my own little acting routine down, especially when a big group of people came through. And I had, I found this really big, large chain. I remember I was going through my routine and I, I jumped out at them so fast and so hard and I just screamed at the top of my lungs and they were freaking out. I had them crying and on the floor and <laughs> it was just an absolute blast. It was just so much fun and we were not a haunted house for little children at all. I actually paid so I could actually stand in line and see what all these patrons are actually getting before they go into Statesville. And it was about a two hour wait in line. When you get in, they treat you like your prisoners. They tell you to get up against the wall and you know, stay quiet. And then they give you all the rules before you enter. And then you go in and then you, you have your experience. But as you're waiting in line outside to get in, they actually have a lot of the actors and different characters walking around harassing audience members. 
you know, not actually like physically touching them or anything like that, but you know, just walking up really close to them, being all creepy, you know, and they're dressed in like these redneck costumes or they have masks on. And it was just a really cool experience, you know, just to see exactly what they were going through. And then I could walk through the house for free as well too. So, and I did that, but I wanted to do both cause I wanted to get experience for both. And I gotta tell you, Statesville, it's, it's pretty good. It was pretty good when I was working there and it was pretty good when I went through it. But anyway, it was just so much fun working in a haunted house and just like really showing my acting chops there because I really love the demented type of stuff. I really like gore. I really like horror movies and I really like being a villain. I really love playing a villain. That was one of my favorite roles when I was working there as a maniac is because I got to act all demented and I got to practice my cackle and I got to practice my my Joker laugh and I got to do my own makeup and get my own costume and it was just a lot of fun because I was also climbing around like a freaking banshee. It was awesome just climbing on the cages and just going through my whole routine and like slapping chains around and um, you know wearing medical tape and gauze and you know making it seem like my eyes were bleeding and it was just so much fun and I had so much fun with the makeup I had so much fun with the effects I had so much fun scaring the crap out of people <laughs> it was great that's why I was thinking maybe for this channel I could do that even a little bit more and do a little more filming like film acting doing more sound effects acting just kind of giving you a, an overall experience of, of what I'm capable of doing anyway guys thank you so much for joining me today I really hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to do awesome be awesome and stay awesome and I will see you all in the next video <laughs> bye